Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today's little talk is about fish scales. Uh, in order to create fish scales, I had to come up with a bit of a trick. And as you can see here, I've got this, this bowl that I've created and it has all these scales and the scales alternate and they're all different because they're distributed on this elliptical shaped bowl. And they also kind of protrude a little bit from the surface because uh, they're meant to look like they overlap each other. And so in order to do it, I have a little example here that I'd like to just take you through. So the very first thing I did was create a uh, sinusoidal law curve. And you've got to go into the expressions editor and you've got to define variables. Uh, as you can see, T equals one. That's very, very important. Uh, it's a unitless uh, number. So that establishes a uh, sinusoid to circle in this direction and in the Z direction. Um, it oscillates, if you will. Uh, and next, I did another law curve. So as you can see, there's two law curves, but they interlace, if you will. So if you take another look at the equations, the one is uh, developed by XT. The other one is XT. And this one is very similar. It's just three times sine T times 360 plus a variable called phase. And phase is 90 degrees. So that's how I get them to do this kind of interlacing thing. And then um, there's another variable called lift. And that lift is how we uh, move this curve, the second curve, down. Uh, if you measure the uh, median of this curve and that curve, it would be lift. So that uh, was the first thing. Uh, then I created this D-shaped uh, sketch and I extruded it here. Uh, next, I projected these two curves. Well, I projected the first curve onto the face. There we go. Okay, then I subdivided the face. Looks like that. And then I projected the next curve uh, onto the face that was left. And as you can see, it looks like that. And I did another divide face there. So I was able to kind of isolate these, these uh, face patches, surface patches. All right, so then I took these two curves and I uh, patterned them. And then I projected and divided and projected and divided and projected and divided. So I had something that looked like, so there. So now I had this surface with these uh, patches. Uh, the very next thing I did was to thicken uh, a bunch of the patches, see? So that makes them all separate solids. That's important. And so now, uh, once I was done with that, there we go, I had a bunch of separate solids. Good. So a bunch of different patches. Next, I did um, another sketch. So uh, what I did was created a single line segment sketch, and I drove it along one of these edges to make this angled face. And then I patterned that angle face. So each one of these fish scales that I'm creating goes looks like it's going over top each other one. So when I had all of these surfaces, then I did a replace face uh, on the various um, patches so that they would um, be tilted, if you will. And replace face, replace face, replace face. So as you can see, after the replacing of the faces, Control W, let's get rid of the sheet bodies there. So then it overlaps like that. So once I replaced all the faces, then I did edge blends on them all, see that? And then I united it together. When I unite it together, it'll all be one color. So there you have it. And so that is how I put fish scales on that one simple shape. Now, in order to do the bowl, um, I had a very similar process, a little bit different, because it started with a different sinusoid or a different law curve. Uh, so. So here's the law curve that I started with. So the sketch was on the law curve. I started by defining um, a diameter, two diameters. 
So I had D1 and D2. Here's 13 inches and here's 18 inches. So that means from there to there is 18 inches. From there to there is 13 inches. And um, of course, I can change that at will. And then I did a sweep. Oops. A sweep. So that's my bowl shape. Um, and then, yeah, there we go. And then I did the uh, law curve based on uh, D1 and D2 and a variable for the amplitude of this sketch and a variable for the distance in between. I'm sorry, the amplitude of the law curve and a variable for the distance in between the law curves. Uh, and then the pattern. So there's the pattern of law curves. Uh, and then I started doing um, the projection and the subdivision. Project, subdivide, project, subdivide, project, subdivide. So I've got a bunch of those in there. So then it looked like that. Control W. Let's get rid of the curves now. So as you can see, I had a very similar um, pattern uh, superimposed on this bowl shape. And then I did a bunch of thickens and a bunch of other stuff to make that happen. Um, at some point, I did a sweep. There it is. There's my first sweep. And that is how I established the, uh, I'm going to call it the top surface of each of the fish scales on just the top row. So as you can see, there's a bunch of replace faces here. I'll go down to this one. So see, all of these fish scales on the top row are now following this uh, swept face. Then I swept the next face like that. Of course, um, in order to do that, I had to have a uh, sketch that looked like a sawtooth. You know, each one of these um, edges, each one of these um, rows, I should say, of fish scales was uh, uh, shaped by these uh, surfaces. Okay. So then I go down and I do all those thickens and all those replace faces. And I keep going. It took me a while to thicken all these um, surface patches because there's a lot of them. And um, I did it the exact same way. So there you go. I had a finished product that I think came out great looking. And let's just do a control W, get rid of the sheet bodies. Um, and there you have it. It would be very, very difficult to do this. Uh, without this little kind of uh, procedure, if you will. And of course, uh, when I tried to do this, uh, when, I, when I was thinking about putting these fish scales on the surface of this bowl, I immediately thought, oh, let's go to um, synchronous, uh, I'm sorry, uh, algorithmic modeling. Uh, but there was no algorithm for fish scales. And that's what I wanted to emulate, the fish scales. So um, that was fun. Um, I hope you uh, can glean some nice uh, techniques out of this particular uh, shape in this case. It's, um, of course, always fun to do this and fun to share it with you. And I hope you use this tool to your great advantage. Thank you very much. My name, again, is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Please like and subscribe this little video and share it with others. Um, we're going to uh, continue to make some really great content here. And uh, it's lovely that I get comments from you. So please comment on it. And I'll see you online. Thanks again.